MMA Locker Room here, part of Pub Sports Radio, and we got the champ here. How are you doing today, Liz? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. Awesome. Can't complain. So tell me about it. Fighting in San Diego, what's it going to be like when you walk out there and you hear all that crowd growing for you and revving on for you and screaming out your name? It's going to be crazy just because I'll be able to identify the voices. You know, oftentimes when I'm at fights, even if they're, they're fans or people I know, they get muted by all the other noises going on. This is a room full of people that I know and voices that I've heard for the past 13 years I'm going to hear, so it's going to be insane. That's crazy to hear because I actually uh, asked one of my fighters who fights in uh, lo local scenes, and I'm always yelling out in, uh, instructions, you know, kick the legs, do this. And I asked him afterwards, do you ever hear me? And he says, no, I only hear my wife and my kids. <laughs> you know, and honestly, like, I've had, I've cornered people, and I'm like, I, I, I was talking to you the whole time. Like, I heard you, but I didn't register any of it. And I'm one of those people where even when I'm fighting, not only do I hear my corners, and, and I also hear their corners. So I'll listen to me like, do this. I'm like, oh, she's not doing that. That's not going to happen. So I'm constantly trying to, to tune in everywhere to see what's going on and use it to my advantage. Got it. And a lot of people think that, you know, you're one of the actual pioneers in the MMA sport, fought in another organization before you got here. Now you were able to hold that gold around your, uh, around your waist. So what is it like to actually be a champion? Um, I would say it's for honestly, it's no different than any other time. You know, I, I kind of look at the belts aside. Every time that I come out to fight, I'm trying to earn that belt. I'm trying to fight as though this is me getting the belt for the first time, not me keeping the belt. Because I think that when people do that, they take their foot off the gas a little bit. Hey, that's a good point right there. They do kind of take their foot off the gas a little bit once they seem like they seem to get the belt. They, they're not that uh, eager to defend it, it seems like, right? Absolutely. Or it's just that maybe they find comfort. What they, they picture for their future was the achievement of the belt and not retention of that belt. And for me, I'm looking to have multiple weight classes and have, have that belt on my shoulder and do that for as many fights as I possibly can. I see this going on for years, so I got to keep that foot on the gas. Got it. Last one for me. So when you're training in the gym and you're doing different roles, different submissions, what is one submission that you're always doing that you're trying to work out that you want to pull out in the fight to where it's like your dream one? If I'm talking dream one, it would be the twister. The twister, but doing a little liver shot with some elbows, that's the dream submission that I've always wanted to land. I tried to do it to Bennett in our first fight. I didn't realize that that weight discrepancy definitely played a role, but that was the closest I got to, to setting it up. But that, honestly, that would be the highlight reel for me of like another achievement is checking that box. Got it. And then last one for me, uh, last prediction. How is the fight going to play out around here? You plan on going the, all the rounds with her, or you plan on maybe getting that dream finish? You know, I would love to just have a dream finish. That dream finish for just choking her unconscious, knowing that there's no damage done, right? I didn't have to break a limb. There's no, she can go on, I can go on for the rest of the day. Do I see that happening? No. But that would be the ideal way because it is somebody I actually care about. Thank you. Love to see you guys. Can't wait to see you guys fight this Saturday. MMA Locker Room, part of Pub Sports Radio with the champ, Liz Carmouche. See you guys soon.